Oi, top of the morning to you. Um, already had one of these because this is a good one for me, uh, for my daily. Um, it's actually why I started this journey last April, I think it was, 2018. I, the folks that have been following it, from beautiful bastards to the miles of smiles, it's uh, been, uh, I come to a crossroads. And the crossroads was uh, that in my life, the times that I've always just, like true, like when I'm really happy, when, when uh, it's like a movement inside and you know you're really truly happy, whatever, is when I'm doing for others, is when I'm, whether it's a good deed, mainly for me it's when somebody's smiling or laughing. Um, I've always been good. I've always been that class clown. I've always been that guy that's been able to make people laugh. Uh, that's been able to brighten a day. That's been able to do... Help people... Um, out of their bad moods or whatever. Anything, you know. I'll go through personal harm. Like hurting myself or whatever to get a laugh out of a little cousin or something. Anyway, it's a minute and a half. I got... My point being is I've always, to me, making others happy is a genuine happiness for me. And a moment in time, I've always said this, a moment in time of true happiness. Man, I'm blabbering. I know. I apologize. Uh, extra strong coffee this morning. But uh, a, the, a moment in time of true happiness is a smile, a genuine smile, right? And uh, like the Daily says, anyone can manage a smile when somebody else is looking, but can you manage one when you're the only one in the room, right? Uh, being said, and I know better than most, we all uh, we all go through it. We all put up a fake front, smile, whatever, so people don't know that we're hurting or something. Some people are drama people, and they want other people to fucking know they're hurting. So they post their lives on social media and stuff. But And if that hit home for you, think about you know, you need to think about life. You need to think about shit. But anyway, uh, back to the smile part. A moment in time, that's happiness, is a smile. Genuine smile, okay? So when your day's going negative, when somebody's going negative towards you, anything, when, when it's negative fucking energy, every one of us has at least one fucking thing that is genuinely happiness to them. A child, a grandchild, a niece or a nephew, a moment in life that was changing, that changed them or whatever. Whatever, everybody has that something that you can, if you generally like, you don't even have to close your eyes. For me, it helps. But that you can just close your eyes and look at and think about and you get that genuine smile. Hold on to that. That genuine smile is happiness, okay? And when that negative shit fucks with us during the day, whether it's fucking a co-worker, a family member, fucking a stranger on the street that fucking does road rage shit, whatever it may be, anything, fucking train ourselves. If we train ourselves to go to our place, our happy place, I know heard, said before, fucking whatever, but... Realize what's happening. Realize that that negative energy is trying to enter our heads and trying to take us down to its level. Stop it. Think about your moment. Think about that happy moment. Think about that happiness thing. Count, blow out, breathe, take it in, reset. Okay? Don't let that negative fucking shit come in there. Get in there. Don't let it take you over. Don't let it deter your mind towards fuck negative. Stop it. Pause. Do your smile. Get that energy. Get that positive flow going. I'm telling you, it does work. From somebody who is a one of the biggest overthinkers on the face of this fucking planet, and if you don't believe me, ask some people that are fucking really close to me. I mean... I am a bad, bad overthinker. Anyway, it helps because I forget about the negative shit and, and, and I ponder on 
what's making my life good. Mine are my little babies, any of them. Whether it's my little ones or whether it's my big ones. Because still my 24 year old daughter, it don't matter, we have the best visit in the fucking world and she's just leaving and then I just get all teary because my little girl's leaving. My men, my babies are my fucking moment. Every fucking time I think about them, they're my moment. And they can take me out of my worst mood in the world. We train ourselves to go to that moment. And you'll see things change. And some of them may have to do it many, many times a day. But the more you do it, the more you take over. The more you take control of your life, your thoughts, and your feelings or whatever. And you'll just see things will get better. Uh, the negative, the energy, the thing, it won't stay in you. So it, 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 your, your positive, your happy shit will force it out. And you will see it will fucking, it will move your day in so many better directions that it's just, it's really, really fulfilling. Anyway, very long, six and a half minutes, by far my longest. And I'm sorry-ish, not, but seriously, take your happy moment, use that fucking happy moment to control your day, because it works, trust me, the shit I got going on in my head or whatever, it works, alright, I love you folks, fuck I love you guys, alright, thank you, especially the ones that actually take your time out and do this, you really help me keep these going, and I love you fuckers, and I hope you have a great day. Deuces.